is live. Hey you guys, this is Jill and um, today I am here with the Lexus RX. This is the next generation Lexus. I feel like they really need to get very close to the camera so you can hear me. Um, but uh, what we want to do, and Tim is behind the camera, he hey guys. can answer any questions. That, or he will tell me if you guys have questions that I can answer, if I can point to something. We're going to flip the camera around pretty soon because you probably don't want to see me, you want to see the car. But just want to do a quick introduction. All new for 2023, completely redesigned, new global platform. And um, what behind, is behind me right now is going to be an all new model from uh, Lexus, which is they're calling the, and I'm probably going to get it wrong, so let me let me think about this a second. It's the RX4, no, 500H. And so this is the performance version. It's a hybrid. And this is going to be the most horsepower you're going to see in this vehicle. Let's see. I think I, I have it in my notes here. Um, it is ooh, 367 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. So this is going to be the highest performance version of the RX you are going to get. And um, it's got some cool styling. So can we just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you get, you get four powertrains too. You don't have the V6 anymore. You have a 2.5 gas, you have a 2.4 turbo, you have a 2.4 hybrid, and you have a plug-in hybrid as well. So we have this, we have a new unique grill, right? Yep. Blends in now. Yeah, well, oh, so, okay, look at what that. I really like about it is this right here, where it, it just kind of goes into the body color. And because this is an export performance version, it's going to have the black lacquer on the grill, which is going to differentiate. We'll see if we can get some shots. They have a silver one. Actually, we're gonna do a video later and do some more detail. Because um, we have a silver one that shows you the difference in the grill. But the export gets the, the blacked out grill. It gets the blacked out mirror caps and it will have um, some blacked out wheels, which I think this whole package looks really smart. Right, so then we have the the headlights kind of blend in really nicely there, mm -hmm. right? We still have the air vents for the cooling of the tires. because they are functional air vents. Right, F-Sport. We do have the F-Sport badging. Yes. Because we need some badging, right? So we have the badging. These are nice Michelin wheels. I love how blacked out they are. It's like oh, a Stormtrooper like edition. It's like matte, it is. It's, it's a matte, matte finish. Yep, yep, I, for sure. I would hate to drive this in Chicago because those would get destroyed pretty easily. <laughs> um, we still have an interesting shape. I feel like it's shorter, but just the flow of the styling. It's not, but it just, it just looks that way in person. I, I, Exactly the same look like yeah. as the previous generation. And so, um, yeah. It's got, I mean, I'm gonna go over here for a second. Look at this. It's got that nice slope line. We have the hood line. Everything kind of slopes in nice together. It's really a nice look. And we come around the sides. We have, uh, by the way, that's Alex Dykes in there doing filming. So go ahead and say hi to Alex. Um, <laughs> we have, oh, okay. So, yeah. One of the things that Lexus has done in their vehicles is they have this recurring L motif. And if you look at the grill really closely, you can see the L motif kind of going down through the grill. And as just looking at this for the first time, you can see the L motif also here. I'm, I'm assuming that was totally done on purpose. Yeah, and then coming around here, uh, we have some new badging. I like the way the, the rear end wraps in, right? So the lights go right across, but it's nice. It's not it's big all the way across. It, it slopes in really nicely. We have the kind of the exhaust looking covers over there. I don't see an exhaust pipe anywhere. It looks like they're kind of all built in. And we have some air vents over there as well. Jill's got more of a, a good look down than I do. Um, well, I'm wearing a skirt. I'm not going to crouch down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, we saw the Lexus uh, lettering on the back. That was debuted with the NX. And, um, you know, and so was the, the, the rear uh, red light that goes all the way across that also debuted with the NX. Okay, so let's go over here and switch sides with Alex. Yeah, open the door. Oh, okay, so the other thing this has is the, um, the, the touch um, open. So it's got like a little pad behind it that you touch to open, so it's not actually a door handle. Okay. Um, also saw that in the NX as well. Right, and look at the stitching inside. This is, uh, this is nice. Uh, we have the red, which is something they've done. Uh, the Lexus LX has this as well. Mm -hmm. And this is that, that interesting handle where it stops for like pedestrians come behind, yep. motorcycles, bikes, whatever. Yep. It'll not let you unlock the door if the sensor on the camera, which is on the mirror, I believe, sees a vehicle this way, right? Yep. Um, and the seats, um, so again, F-Sport performance model, it has the red interior. I don't think that's available on a not um, F-Sport model. And um, I like the little suede inserts, kind of like grips you in. Right, right. Um, and so we don't have a third row in this anymore, nope. which is kind of nice because it didn't really work. No, they, they did not mention a third row, so I'm assuming it's not coming. Um, right. We'll, we'll switch places with Omar. Yeah, we're switching. We're switching around. This is a. Uh, 
this is a busy event, right? So we're in Texas. Uh, this is your new interior dash, right? And Ooh, so the I like screen. this. This is curved right. back here, and so it has, and it has like a hood. So I, I don't know. I'm gonna be very interested to see how that works in in actual fact, because that looks very reflective to me. And look at this here. This is interesting. The, the uh, tailgate open button and the fuel door open button are actually buttons below the dash. This whole thing usually is down here, kind of hidden, yeah. and they raise it all the way up. And we have some cool pedals. You know what's not there? Power windows. What's that? The camera button. Oh yeah. So I wonder where they. Hopefully they put the They're camera probably, button in and, a yeah, place yeah. that makes sense. So coming over here, uh, we have the shifter there. We have some train modes, traction control. We have some USBs in there as well. We have a, a wireless charging. The bigger screen, like you've seen elsewhere, we have the volume knob and a tuning knob, which is nice as well. And then there is your wrap of that interior. And doors, yeah. Uh, so let's see. We six trims. I'm gonna put I'm putting Jill in the spot. Oh yeah. Uh, do we have adjustable pedals? No adjustable pedals. No adjustable. So six six trims. Yep. Uh, we have four power trains. Yep. Sport performance, so they're differentiating a little bit between a parent package and something that is actually a little bit more horsepower. And uh, then you, the other new trim. Here we go. This is me extrapolating data. How do you like that word? Extrapolating. Um, oh boy. They have a new. Um, let, let me let me make sure I get this one right too. It's um, the new trim. They have another new trim we haven't seen before. It's the premium plus trim. Right. Plus. Speaking of capsuling this, uh, Jill, the trunk. Jill, the trunk. Jill, Beijing Jill. So there is, this is this is kind of similar to what it was before, in my opinion. Uh, the third row is back there, which didn't really work. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. No. Um, because this is more of an up-level trim, I will point out that you do have the rear seat um, release buttons from here, so to put the second row seats down for more cargo. Um, and it looks like you have uh, a power oh, jack back Yeah, here. that's nice too. Okay, uh, so what do you got, Jill? You got uh, one set of golf clubs, two? What are you thinking? It depends on if you stack them or not. I think you can put four back here. That's my guess. Right, right, right. All right, so let's wrap this up. Uh, available later on this fall. Yep. First drive coming later on. We don't. We're not driving this, right? So pricing available later this fall. Yep, so we don't have any details. We can see it. We can see what's going on, but we can't really do much else. Yep, and we have no details whatsoever on the plug-in hybrid. But I'd say look at the Lexus NX plug-in hybrid and probably similar. All right, we have one last question. Full size spare. Oh, yeah. One last thing. We're out of here. Time for dinner. Full size spare. Boom. There you go, guys. Well, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's compact. Oh, it's a compact. Alex with the with the information here. Yeah, so uh, from Alex Dykes, um, yeah, Alex on autos, um, but there's a deck kit, so no stupid silly inflator kit. Yeah, it those. isn't. It isn't. He's right. It's compact spur. Well, at least you don't have to inflate it. All right. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to see you. I'm going to interrupt him from his. I know. She paused me. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm pausing him. Um, yes. If you have questions, if there's anything you want to see on this vehicle, let us know. Comment below. Even though we're doing this live. We will be able to have access to this vehicle later, so let us know and we'll, we'll catch up um, what we missed in this quick little first book live stream later. Okay, there we go. Yes, there you go, guys. Now I'll let him sign off. <laughs> we'll see you down the road. <laughs>